Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. This is Scenario 4.2 with the character Damiel. We're over at the Mumia Lab. We're at this location at the start of your turn. Succeed at a Constitution 4 check, or suffer the Scourge Curse of Withering. Alright, so that's what's going on right there. We will advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Bastet. We'll go ahead and do that Constitution check. Damiel has a Constitution of D8. And we rolled a 1. So right off the bat, Daniel is cursed with the Curse of Withering. This is a really terrible curse to have, but he's got it. So let's see, looking at Daniel's hand, he has a canteen. He will go ahead and display the canteen, <clears throat> starting off strong there. Able to reuse all of his, uh, all of his alchemo alchemical cards. Let's see, looking at his hand, da 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 da. He was just seeing if he could recharge anything, but he can't. Uh, da -da. It says here, do 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 do. Alright, so I think we're all set. Let's go ahead and explore. So we have an acid flask, it's an intelligence craft uh, 5 check. Normally, Daniel's intelligence is d10, but since he has the curse of withering, it's a d8. So we'll go ahead and roll and see what happens. So we'll roll to three. The modifier is a plus, uh, for craft, he has a plus five modifier. So he actually does acquire the acid flask and he will keep it. All right, let's go ahead and advance the blessings deck. It's a blessing of the ancients. We're not gonna roll for the Mumia lab since we already have the curse of withering. And we will explore. Burglar's buckler, constitution fortitude disable. Well, Damiel will go ahead and try a Disable check. His Disable is Intelligence plus 4. So, since Curse of Withering is in effect, it's a D8 plus 4. Alright, so, alright, even with the Curse of Withering, we are able to acquire the Burglar's Buckler. Hmm, so it's pretty cool. It's a cool thing, but uh, it's just a level 1, so a trader isn't going to be interested in that. So, I think Damiel will go ahead and discard that. And we will carry on. All right, advancing the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Isis. We don't have to roll for Curse of Withering because we're cursed. And boom, we get the Forgotten Pharaoh, uh, the villain of this scenario. It's a Trigger Human Mummy Cleric Cultist. Uh, check to defeat Combat 24 or Divine Diplomacy 16. So when you examine this card, encounter it. Well, we did not examine this card. Before you act, succeed at a Stealth 13 check or bury a card. Then the Forgotten Pharaoh is evaded. Shuffle her into a random open location. Wow. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> well, that kind of sucks. So do we have anything that's going to help us out? Uh, da -da -da -da. We have the Chakram, but that doesn't help against the villain. So unfortunately, what's going to happen, then it says here, when you examine this card, encounter it and ignore the Forgotten Pharaoh's power that happens before you act. So we might have to start... So in order to defeat this, we either may need to do the Stealth 13 check, which for Daniel is quite impossible, or we have to examine it. So, as it is, um, the Forgotten Pharaoh is... We have to bury a card, and she's evaded. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. So, we will shuffle the Forgotten Pharaoh into the deck. We have to bury a card. I think what Daniel will choose to do is he'll choose to bury the acid flask that he just gained. I don't think he's going to need that. Well, actually, we're going to hold on to that. We'll go ahead. <coughs> we always seem to lose the, our pal, the Viper. So that's what we're going to do. And rolling a D8, seeing which card is on top of the location deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the eighth card. All right, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and reset Daniel's hand. Let's advance the Blessings deck. It's a Blessing of Thoth. We'll continue to explore. And we get Whip of Centipedes. It's Intelligence Arcane Wisdom Divine 10. Well, Damiel has an Intelligence of D10, but thanks to the Curse of Withering, it's a D8. This is a really cool spell. We can... Uh, da -da -da -da. Hmm. Very interesting. We'll go ahead and roll the D8. Well, roll the one. 
that really sucks because um, so the thing is is that it's a level four and Daniel really wants it because he'll be able to give it to a trader. So I think since it's an intelligence check, no, even um, I was considering using the blessing of Kepri to turn that one into a six, but that would still just give me a nine. So no matter what, the whip of centipedes is banished, unfortunately. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. All right, we don't have any cards that are, are gonna allow us to examine, so we'll just go ahead and carry on. Advancing the Blessings deck, it's a Bless of the Ancients. And she's back, uh, we didn't examine her. We have to bury a card. So this time we will bury, <clears throat> we're gonna bury the Fire Lance. I have the Chakram. And she's evaded. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven cards left in the deck. Roll the D10, one, two, three, four, fifth card there. So I just reset the location deck. Uh, it's getting kind of, well, we'll just reset the hand for now. All right, that's what we're doing. So advancing the Blessings deck, it's a Blessing of Thoth. Uh, we don't have to roll for the Curse of uh, that. Hmm, I'm debating. I did pull the Soul Stimulant, and I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'll put it on the Canteen to banish the Curse of Withering. Uh, now we will explore. All right, and we get the inevitable trap. So intelligence, arcane knowledge, thirteen, or wisdom survival, ten. Uh, da -da. It's a trigger, skirmish, trap, magic. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just do the intelligence check, which is D ten. Uh, let's see, and we need a thirteen. Demon has an intelligence of plus three. Hmm, he doesn't have any blessings, unfortunately. No keywords are going to help him out. So that's it. He, has, he actually has to roll a 10 on this check. And he doesn't. So it says here, if undefeated, each character at your location summons and encounters the Hedron Blightwing, then banish this card. Okay. Card is banished. <clears throat> Enemy Blightwing appears. Outsider, Curse, Poison, Veteran are the, are the traits. But Damiel has that power that... He can reveal a card uh, on your check that invokes the poison trait to add 2d6. So uh, right off the bat, he's rolling a 2d6. He has a chakram in his hand, which is pretty powerful. D10 and a D8. Okay, yeah. I'm not too worried about our pal Blightwing. And we rolled a 2 there and a 2 and another 2. And a 6. Well, that was actually quite close. But the uh, Blightwing is defeated. All right. So there's that. One more card down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use <clears throat> the Blessing of Kepri to allow us an exploration. We get the Explorer's Staff. It's a Strength Melee 2. Uh, Damiel has a Strength Melee of D4. So we rolled a 2. So we do acquire this card. Uh, let's see. I'll discard the card. No other ways to, um, no other way. What I'm going to also do is I'm going to use this Scarab Buckler. I'm going to recharge this. Uh, I could get some cards back from my deck now. I can use this Scarab Buckler. But I'm going to toss some cards. I'm going to go ahead and reset Damiel's hand. He needs to have some options here. Advancing the Blessings deck. Exploring, we get a porcupine. So it's a cutie porcupine, wisdom survival 7. Uh, Daniel's wisdom is a d6, so this will be an auto fail. Uh, but he can discard this card to explore your location. Extra X, there's only three cards left in the blessings deck, and there are four cards left in the location deck. And we need to find ways to examine cards. Hmm. We do have a Blessing of Widget in our hand, which will allow us to examine cards. So we want to keep the Blessing of Widget. We're going to auto-fail the Porcupine, and we will use a Blessing of Widget to discard this card to examine the top card of your location deck. All right, it says, then you may explore your, then you may explore your location. So discarding that, examining this card, it's a Shock Toad. Okay, so it says here, we may, ex we may 
um, explore and we want to we do want to so we're going to have a combat 6 check here we can just use the chakra d6 d8 there is a before you act effect um, so let's go ahead and just use that we don't want to take any damage but actually yeah we'll use the chakra we don't want to use any damage and then to defeat the shock toad we'll just use an acid flask instead which we will put on top of the canteen so acid flask is d10 and 2d6 all right so we rolled a total of eight and six plus the uh disable which is plus four more than enough to defeat the pesky shock toad shock toad is down uh let's see looking at daniel's discard pile i think we're good we're just going to reset daniel's hand all right and now let's go ahead and advance the blessings deck it's a blessing of jet exploring we get Dijin favor amulet constitution fortitude four or wisdom seven so the constitution fortitude oh, i forgot to roll for the uh we got to make the constitution check now for curse of withering and so we did make the curse of withering so we don't have to worry about that now we'll use try to see if we acquire the Dijin favor amulet and uh doing a constitution check we fail so that's unfortunate uh, now, in our hand, we have a Blessing of Bastet. Discard this card to examine the top card of your location deck. If it is if it is a Bane, encounter it, and it may not be evaded. Alright, let's do it. We're examining this card. What is it? Oh, boom. It has a trigger trait. And we examined it. The difficult if we fail. Man, that sucks. Well, we got this guy. When you examine a card that has a trigger trait, bury this card to ignore any power on that card. That happens when you examine it. Shuffle it into its deck. Oh wow, so we, ha we actually have to shuffle this guy back into the deck. Wow, we have to bury this card and shuffle We're running out of time though. So we kind of really want to destroy this guy. There's only one card left in the location deck. We know what it is. I think we want to encounter him um yeah let's do that we're gonna encounter him we're gonna auto fail that stealth check because damiel's stealth is d4 so it's going to be a plus three modifier defeat we have to do a combat 20 check against this guy before you act we're dealt 1d4 poison damage let's go ahead and roll so we take three points of poison damage we can stop two of them with the ubashti by recharging that but we still have to take one point of poison damage which really sucks um darn what are we gonna do we'll lose the i got this i got so many great cards in my hand we're gonna actually toss the embalming fluid as damage since we took poison damage that we did not reduce we get the curse of daybane and now we can finally encounter this bane and for that bane we'll go ahead and use an acid flask um and then we uh it has the poison trait thank goodness so we can just reveal a card and use daniel's power to add an additional 2d6 and throwing an acid flask on there is another 2d6 okay all these dice okay i think we can uh, we got a chance of doing uh we're adding plus four to this roll Let's see what we get three four seven eight nine 10, uh, 15, wow, I can't believe it. I think we failed. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we had a plus 4, so we failed by 1. Wow, can you believe that? So we have a scare buckler. We can recharge that to stop the damage, but that is very disappointing. All right, so this Bane gets shuffled back into the deck. There's two cards left in here. Let's roll a d6. One, two, three. It'll be that one. Okay, so that's the top card. We are resetting Daniel's hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Advancing the Blessings deck. There's two cards left in the Blessings deck. And we're going to roll for the Mumia Lab. Rolling a d8. So we two so we do get the curse of withering 
We have this mumia in our hand though. We're going to use that right away so we don't get the curse of withering. Uh, then we, so it was a blessing of Abadar in the top of the blessings deck. So we have the curse of Daybane, but we can explore. We are going to use the blessing of Thoth, which allows us to examine the top card of our location deck. All right, let's hope it's the Forgotten Pharaoh and not the Gibraltar. Uh, hey, all right. So, we did examine it. When you examine this card, encounter it and ignore the Forgotten Pharaoh's power that happens before you act. Sweet. All right, so now all we got to do is do a Combat 24 check and check out what Damiel has. Scarab Sand. Banish this card and bury a card. To add 1d12 to your check against the monster by a character at your location. Add another d6 if the monster has the undead trait. If it has the mummy trait, add another 2d6 instead. So right off the bat, using the Scarab Sand, and there, uh, there's a... Uh, it doesn't have any immunities. That is so sweet. So we'll go ahead, we will bury a potion of healing so that we can use the Scarab Sand D12 plus 2D6 right off the bat. We'll go ahead and just throw a Noxious Bomb at it. So, and we'll put it on top of the Canteen. So it's going to be our Dexterity or Range skill plus 2D6. And it says here with the Noxious Bomb, you can additionally discard another card to add your craft skill. So yeah, we'll go ahead and discard the Blessed of Abadar. We'll go ahead and do that Craft 9 check really quick to see if we can, uh, instead of discarding it, recharge it. And we rolled a 7 there. So we can recharge the card. So we can recharge the Blessed of Abadar, which is awesome. Alright, so now what we're going to do is what we are going to do now is roll all these dice da, 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 da. and we're going to put the scarab swarm on top of the canteen all right so we're rolling all these dice uh and we did we we didn't get the extra d10 for the craft skill and we're rolling a total of uh five six seven we're adding seven to this roll right and seven to the roll Let's see what we get here. So, 8, 14, 15, 18, 19, 21, and 6 is 27. And we're adding a total of 8 to the roll. So we had uh, 27 and 8. I think that was right. Anyway, more than enough to defeat the Forgotten Pharaoh. Now, unfortunately... We, before we reset Daniel's hand, he only has four cards in his library. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the canteen. So we, the Forgotten Pharaoh is perished, but Daniel would have died to this scenario. But instead what we can do, it says you may bury this card uh, if you have the craft skill, which you do. You may draw all the items on this card. So this is what saved Daniel's life. He's able to pick up one, two, three, four, five cards, add them to his hand, one, two, three, four, five. So he's able to reset his hand to six and still have three cards in his library. So there you have it. The Mumia Lab has been defeated. Location closed. The Forgotten Pharaoh, one of the toughest villains in the campaign, defeated and Damiel survived. Wow, that was actually a really fun campaign. Let's go ahead and go see what the reward for the scenario is. There's the man, man of the hour. So, for uh, the reward for this scenario was unlocking this trader, Nahiba. So Nahiba offers items or spells that have the divine trait. So uh, Damiel will probably never go visit this trader. He has no use for spells. But he did. Let's go ahead and do an abbreviated deck check here. So we're just going to look at items that have the level f that are level 3 that a trader would be interested in. Now let's go see if Daniel's going to go to a trader. So these are this is his deck. So items that are level 3 or 4. So what? Uh, so he's got a level 3 item there. Hmm, he doesn't have a lot of level 3 items. 
Okay, how about that? So, uh, da, da, da. Hmm, interesting. So basically, Daniel only has these two items to trade to a trader since he's on level four, and he's definitely not trading that Scarab Sand since that one hit the game right there. So unfortunately, uh, Daniel will not be going to a trader. He had the option of getting a few items that, um, like that spell, the Whip of Centipedes. So if he had acquired that, it would have been a different story. But as it is, he just doesn't have anything for a trader. And he was able to unlock that uh, merchant, Nahiba. All right, well, there's the update. Uh, that was a cool scenario. Thank you so, uh, so much for watching. And I will have another adventure up shortly. All right, thank you.